So all these things you're going to have to keep in mind. You, if you're the one painting, you've got to be the one to determine, hey, am I going to caulk something uh, that's showing or not? You remember this uh, little uh, valance that went across here on this window? When I took it off, it attaches to those top screws. Well, obviously, they, they, had, they had an old one right here and right there and right there. And so now the question becomes, do I want to fix that too and uh, uh, kind of tap those plastic anchors in a little bit more, put some caulking over that and uh, get ready to paint that because, you know, technically the valance is going to cover that. Nobody's ever going to see it unless they lift that valance up. But if they replace that valance with something else, obviously they're going to have to patch those holes and they can patch these other holes. So you've got to decide, are you going to patch those or not? Are you going to leave them? What, what, what are you going, what are you going to do? Do you see what I mean? It's all up to you. You're the boss. You're the boss. How good of a job do you want it when you get done? You see what I mean? You see how, uh, well, you can't see it. Uh, this, the light's not very good in here, but this is all dirty here. People coming in, they reach, they reach right here for the light switches, even though the light switches are down there. So see, on, on that, on that right there, I can take, I can take, uh, you can, you can kind of see it from there. Uh, my light's not very good inside this condo, you know, but I can take, I can at least make the effort to see if I can get some of that off with my simple green and my sponge and see if I can't at least mute it or get lots of it off so that when I get ready to paint, the paint will cover that. If I were to have just painted over that, chances are it wouldn't have covered all the way. You see what I mean? So, I mean, it's just, it's, it's nothing hard. It's not rocket science I'm doing here. But that looks 100% better than it did before. And why not do that before you get ready to paint? Okay. And I, I saw some little high bits right there. And like I say, before, before I get ready uh, to, to paint, uh, I'm going to go through these walls. The condo's not that big. If it was a whole house, um, it'd take me forever. But, but uh, I'll, just, I'll just look along there. If there's any little high bits, I'll get. Because um, this stuff here, years ago, I don't know if you can see. Can you see that? The texture on this wall. Uh, uh, you see here? This is called skip trowel texture. Uh, it, they skip it on there and they and they install that with a uh, with a wide putty with a wide trowel see see all the lines that's called skip trowel but what, what how they do that they put a little bit of fine sand in with their skip troweling material okay and then that helps it skip so in other words you get little bits of sand peeking out now and again see see right there I mean, you're gonna see that. It's up next to the light. See, see it all right in there? When I get done painting, if I leave that, somebody's gonna see that. And when they say, oh yeah, Video Joe, yeah, he did a really good job. Somebody's gonna, somebody's gonna look at that, somebody that I'm not gonna be able to see, that I'm not gonna be able to explain to on why that wasn't my responsibility. They're gonna think I did a crappy job. All because of that. You see, so I can, that, that just happened to be one I, I happen to see. Now, I, I see uh, some other ones up higher, and it's just, it's just, uh, it's going, going the extra mile. Now, see that black marks is from my putty knife, and that black is because this is flat paint, okay? So I'm just taking off my marks that I put on there because if I don't do that, uh, is my paint going to cover in one coat? I don't know. Do I really want to um, make the assumption that it's going to and then find out 
After I get all done, I stand back. I'm patting myself on the back, thinking how good of a job I did. And then I look up here and I see, oh crap. I should have, I should have this, I should have that. I should have cleaned off the best I could, you know? And I didn't, and now it's gonna show. And there you go, okay? But what, what I'm gonna have to do, if I, if I find, if I find other areas like that in the condo, they're not gonna be very many. I mean, my word, this condo isn't that big, okay? When I scraped off those high edges, doesn't that look a lot better? I mean, I'm not gonna get it 100%, but this blends in with the rest of the wall, more so than it did before. But um, because I knocked off the high bits, now there's raw drywall there, there, right in there, up in here. And so when I get ready to paint, before I actually get my roller out, I might want to take a crummy throwaway paintbrush and a little bit of paint around with me and, and dab these certain areas where I've seen where, where I scraped off uh, some, some boo-boos. Okay, I see, I see one way up there. And um, again, this light, it's not very good. But I think you're you're getting the you're getting the picture of it. And see, right up in here, I can just I this is just a big little spot right there, and that just looks better. Okay? Not the, if the whole wall was was rough, texture like that everywhere, I mean how much of it am I gonna do? I just have to kind of depend. Uh, uh, and, and make a decision how, how good do I want it but that kind of softened up that little area a little bit better and I can see I can see that uh, uh, down the road previous they had done a, a, uh, a patch right there I can also see a couple nail heads not that head but see how it's see how it's pooched out right up in there three little places good grief um, Let's just see if I can't get that with my hammer. Uh, you, you, you get the idea, right? I mean, you get the idea. I'm not gonna show you every single little thing, but um, a few things I will. I can see where it kind of is stuck out right there, right here, up here. I can see um, a couple spots that are high. That thing right there, this right there. Okay, and and I'll I'll clean that off with my simple green so I don't leave the black marks. And um, I'll decide if I have to if I have to do any uh, prime priming, you know. Put a little bit of paint there with my with my throwaway paintbrush, you know, before I start rolling. And uh, yeah, it takes it takes a little time and effort, but I'm here. And when I get done with this job, I want it to look good. I don't want to say, well, you know, those 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 nail those nail heads were, were puckering out, and I saw that. I just painted over it. Yeah, I saw this over here. I just painted over it. I just painted over that. They're, they're going to think, oh, man, he's doing us a favor, but I wish he, I wish he would have I, I wish he would have cleaned off that black smudge over there right by the front door because I can still see it after, after he painted there because the paint didn't stick very well there, and it didn't cover that. And I wish he would have done this, and I wish he would have done that. I wish he would have taken down the... Uh, the the uh, the towel ring there because the screws were were loose anyways and this that and the other thing so because this condo isn't really that big yeah you know I'm gonna I'm gonna um, prep it out like I would if it was my own house and that's the type of thing I'm trying to show you right. 
I'm trying to show you all that right now. And speaking of which, uh, I haven't looked at that up there yet. I don't even I don't even uh, see any screws up there. That's looks like the uh, the backing plate, you know, for that smoke alarm. And um, I'm not sure what's going on there. I haven't looked at it yet, and I probably should get up there and just see what's happening because I can't I can't leave that backing plate on there and assume that the new smoke alarm will fit on an old backing plate. Oh, I see. There's two, there's two screws up there and it's on the box and, and you should be able to uh, loosen that and not take the screws out all the way. And then this should swivel around that way, but it's been painted around. See, I just had to do that. I just take that. Now, now that's loose. That's where it was. I just swivel it and it comes off. And that's where the, uh, the old smoke alarm was. Okay, stuff like that. The new smoke alarm cover might not be the exact same thing. This way I can paint up there. I don't have to cut that in. And um, I'll, I'll, shut the, I'll shut the power off. To that uh, when I see where the smoke alarms are and I have got a wire tester and all that kind of stuff because it's, it's got it's got a little pigtail that attaches inside there to the existing hot wires and then the pigtail comes out and plugs into the back of the smoke alarm so this pigtail is uh, bracket assembly is not going to be the same as a new one even if it was the same as a new one and you think oh I'm replacing like for like I don't like doing that most of the time. I just take I just take it out and put the new one in there because it comes it comes in the package and you're paying for it, so why not why not get it in there? And then you and then then you never you never have an issue with it later on down the road. You see what I mean? So I I still got I still got some more um, work to do. I still have to clean off the the baseboards. I got some caulking to do. I also noticed up here on top of the tub enclosure. This is a fiberglass tub enclosure. You see, you see, they they had they had caulked it from before, and there's a hairline crack there. So if you get any water up in here, any moisture, it goes right down through that crack on the back side when they're taking a shower, and uh, that's going to start doing dry rot business later on. So. It's a good thing I got my caulking, right? I'll have to look at that and determine what I have to do with that. I can see there's a little bit there, there's a little bit, there's a little bit over in here, you know. And uh, I'll just have to uh, do a once over on that. Here, here's the sketch and trim for the shower. I just pulled that back out of the way so that when I paint this, that's not in my way. I don't have to cut in around that. I can just pull that. I like that. I'm not going to disconnect that or anything. Obviously, I'm just I'm going to have to paint around that. You know what I mean? And uh, um, you just you just need to have an eye and just start looking at stuff. You'll you'll get better as you go. That's just how it works. Okay? Yeah, you will. So uh, yeah, I still have to take all the cover plates off and. And that's one of the last things I, I generally like to do. I don't like to leave the cover plates off too terribly long uh, because um, those are still gonna have power to them, especially the light switches. You don't want somebody coming in. Uh, since I'm here on my own, I'm, I'm fine. But if you had other people coming back and forth and stuff, and you got cover plates off and you got uh, light switch cover plates off and somebody reaches over there to turn it on, and accidentally their finger goes in there, they could shock themselves because the cover plate's not on. You know what I mean? So just different things, safety stuff to be aware of, and, and, and that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, keep working in those rooms, and then I'm gonna kinda start graduating out into here and deciding what all I've gotta do in the kitchen. You know, there's not gonna be a whole lot of things, but you, you see the mark on the drywall right up in there? Man, it just looks awful. I don't know who, somebody had patched this ceiling from years ago 
and I see a bark there, I see that, I see, I see that, there's a line there, there's, you know, there's only so much I can do. Here's a line here, there's something over there. I mean, we're talking, uh, this condo's probably over 50 years old, but I can, I can, I can do certain little things to make things look a little bit nicer, but, and I'll, I'll end up scraping that off, but, um, as for some of this stuff, it is what it is, pretty much. You know, I didn't I didn't come here to start patching drywall and and all that. But uh, some some things I might be able to dig them out a little bit, put a little bit of caulking in there, and 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 uh, make it look a little bit more presentable. You know, and then I, and then I'll tell I'll tell Michelle, hey, you know, there's only so much I can do. See, see that see that right there. You're gonna see you're gonna see that. Shouldn't I whack that off with my with my putty knife? Here here's a nice little edge on the outside corner beast. Shouldn't I shouldn't I uh, do something with that? And so you're gonna have to decide how far do you want to go with your prep work. This is all called prep work before you get the paint roller out. Okay, you've got to be the one to decide that. Now, if you watch my my initial preview of this entire project, you, I would have I was telling you I thought I could get this done in two days, two and a half days. Well, I talked to Michelle, and and she said she actually is going to have the cleaner come on Monday instead of Sunday, um, which gives me an, an an additional day if I need it. That was nice of her, right? She, it's not like she's got she if she had a guest. Uh, scheduled to come in on Monday morning or Monday after uh, 3 o'clock to check in or afternoon or whatever um, then obviously the cleaner would have to come in here on Sunday and, and that but it gives me a little bit more time because I you know every time I turn around I see something else I should do and, and something else that needs to be moved something else that needs to be patched something else that needs to be caulked and, and so forth and so on and when I get all done I have I know that whatever I take off the walls I got to put back together I got to put the beds the bed back together I got to put the whole bedroom back together I got to install the doors back on their uh, the door jams I've got to put the glass closet doors back up and and do do something presentable at least a little bit do a little bit of sweeping up the cleaners are going to come and do stuff but the stuff that I've scraped down on, on the floor and stuff I'll, I'll uh, I'll probably go ahead and you know wipe some of this stuff up. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna have a cleaner just uh, see uh, scrapings of stuff down on the floor and stuff. I'll still I'll still do a, uh, as good a job as I can, but it gives me an, an extra day. So you you've got to decide what your schedule is. If you only have two days, maybe some of these things that I pointed out you're gonna you're gonna say ah, I don't have time for it. I just don't have time. I, I, I thought I'd get this done in two days. It's, I, I don't have three days, three and a half days to monkey around on it. It is what it is. And that's what some people end up doing. Okay? It's, so, again, it just, what I, what I try to do is I try to give myself enough time for different projects. I try to think about it and um, always try to give myself a little bit of extra because there's always, trust me, any project that I happen to do, it always seems like it takes just a little longer than I think it's going to take. Don't, don't try to think, oh, two evenings I'll be done with this and, and then uh, think, oh my word, what have I done? I, I can't get it done. I'm going to just slop it all on there. I got to paint around everything. I don't have time to pull everything off in, in the bathroom. I don't have, because then I have to reinstall it all. Everything I pull off the walls, I have to reinstall. I, I don't, I can't do that. But I'm telling you, to get the uh, best job, professional painters, what do you suppose they're going to do most of the time? They're going to they're going to do the best they can and uh, pull lots of stuff off the wall and and that sort of thing, and that's just how they do it and that's how they charge. So you're going to have to think about uh, all the different things that you end up having to do and just give yourself enough time and you'll be fine.